Joining us now is health and fitness expert Bianca Jade. Great to have you back. Thank you. All right, a lot of people still continue to work out in the out, outdoors, even when the temperatures dip. What do you? What kind of advice do you have for them? I have a lot of hacks for okay. them. So it all starts with what you're wearing, right? Because even when it's cold outside, you're still going to sweat if you're out there training for maybe a 5K or, or even a marathon. So what I like to tell people is to start with moisture wicking layers because you can always remove those layers. Like if you're wearing this, uh, you know, pull up uh, zip front uh, long sleeve shirt, you can always wrap that around your waist or my little trick is roll it up so it doesn't flap while you run. You are a runner, so you know yeah. that. You <laughs> And build up that heat even in the cold weather. Definitely. And I mean, some people are scared to wear run shorts in the winter, but your body does warm up and you will create that warmth yourself. But when you first go out there, it's going to be rather You actually cold. burn up a lot of calories out in the cold weather. Tons of calories. So another great hack is to look for reflective heat technology accessories. This is a gator, a gator, sorry, a gator? or what they call a neck warmer, right? And uh, this inside here is reflective. And what it does is it traps your body heat so it keeps you warm without being too bulky or making you sweat because it keeps you dry and super warm. And so you need to just wear this every time you get out there when it, if it's really cold when there's a yeah, lot of see, wind. Yes, you can always remove it but it's definitely great for wind mm -hmm. and it, they make this reflective heat technology for all kinds of accessories from gloves to uh, sweaters, you know, to run sweaters or, you know, shoes even. <laughs> so True. look for that. It's a really, it's a great new advancement. In I love the gear. socks. The socks are great. These are compression socks by CEP performance and what these do is they really hug your leg muscles and that uh, increases circulation and oxygen to your muscles which boosts your athletic performance so I highly recommend if you're gonna wear shorts to invest in a pair of compression so you get socks. your workouts gonna be better for you absolutely you'll run <laughs> faster and longer good okay, good and what are these so these are funny looking devices that could very well save your life we've heard some stories in the news about women being t being attacked during runs and it's really unfortunate you really have to be aware of your surroundings. You you do and if you're listening to music on your earphones yeah. or just even being in the cold your reaction time is lowered because your your muscles are stiffer and you know breathing is harder in really cold weather. So this is a pepper spray that you can literally wear like right around your hand like this and if an attacker comes you know you just you're ready you're ready you spray it and then this is a shrieking alarm system which you put around your wrist and you simply pull this little uh, metal part right here and it will set off an alarm that everyone an, will hear. An element of surprise. Yes. These shoes are cool. Sneakers for cold weather and the elements like snow, slush, dew, morning dew is can really trip you up or slip you up rather. So these have a lot of traction. It will get you through anything, um, prevent injury. I really love these and they're waterproof. You have to drink a lot of water. Lots of water. When you so work out. even when it's cold outside, these are you want to feel these are uh, bottles oh, that are yes. very easy to grip. They're by Booby Bottle, and this is Nathan Sports. And literally, you can just run with it and not feel like you know they're obtrusive. And you can even connect them to your clothing if you want to go hands free. And what is this over here? Okay, so this is all about massage and sports cream. What I like to recommend is that you get a massage before and after you start doing long training runs. And using my Pain Away Sports Cream and Topper Simple Sports Cream, which um, relieves muscle pain and tension, is really great. I tell my massage therapist to use it because you'll get all that relief um, from any type of pain or injury that you might be dealing with, you know, as a runner. And quickly, the Vaseline. The Vaseline, one of my favorite tips, Vaseline, what it does is it prevents chafing. So I tell people to open it up and literally get their fingers in there and smother it all over their bodies because with that slippery surface, your clothes is just going to glide off yeah, you. I use Vaseline for a lot of things. Where can people get more information? Misfit.com. Uh, Bianca, thanks so much Thank for joining you. us.